हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आईआईटी एंड कोड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम स्पेशल ट्रिपलेट्स सो लेटेस्ट कोर्स फॉर द प्रॉब्लम वन एंड देन वी विल लुक एट द सॉल्यूशन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू शेयर द कोड इन दिस वीडियो बिकॉज़ आई हैव सीन दैट पीपल जस्ट स्किप टू द कोड पार्ट डोंट सी द एक्सप्लेनेशन and just copy the code right away so instead what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to actually uh i'm going to actually explain you the whole problem i'm going to explain the solution and give you some test cases if time permits and if you still don't get the approach and you want the code just drop me an email and subscribe my channel that's all things i need so i will be happy to help you in that too so let's start so jinto ki has been very lazy recently and he has not made enough money to pay the rent this month so this old land lady has given him a problem to solve so problem is basically that there are three integers a b and c they are considered special if it satisfies the following properties for a given integer m A mod B is C and B mod C is zero. And A, B, and C belong to one to n. That's all. So let's see how we can actually solve this problem. The constraint on n is between two and ten raised to five. That means that we need to have some kind of an order n log n order n to ten or something like that kind of a solution. We can't go for order n square or anything higher. So let's get started with the solution. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, great. So we have two conditions: a mod b is c, a mod b is equal to c, and c mod c is equal to c. So these are the two problems. These are the two statements we have. This is kind of irrelevant, right? Now we can say this. Like assume we don't need it to compute anything. So what does this tell us? So this tells us that a is equal to b k plus c, where k is an integer between zero to infinity. If in minus one, but we have to consume that it is between one to one. Yeah, and this gives us that a is equal to sorry b is equal to c dot m, where m belongs to zero to infinity. Okay, so what do we infer from this? So b is equal to c dot m. That means b is necessarily greater than c, or equal to m is equal to one. And b is b is divisible by c. This is the key thing we get to know here that b is divisible by c. So what we have is we can take a b. We can arbitrarily assume a b from one to n. Take all of its divisors, so there will be some divisors of b which are the corresponding values of c. Note here that we can't take divisor as one and b itself because if we take the divisor as one, so b mod one is always equal to zero. But then a mod b is should be equal to okay. But then a mod b should be equal to c, and if a uh, like if b is one, so if b is one, then anything mod one will always be zero. So c has to be zero, but zero cannot be one. So that's what we can not take b equal to one. So b equal to one is not allowed, and c equal to b is not allowed. So b equal to c is not allowed. Why is b equal to c not allowed? Because if b and c are equal, 
so anything mod b can never result in any number greater than or equal to b so c has to be the same so with these two constraints you can take all the divisor from 1 to till whatever is less than c so we take these divisors uh the number of divisors is order of n raised to 1 by 3 that that makes sense order of n raised to 1 by 3 is the number of divisors and for each divisor we can compute the number of values of a which are between 1 and n and which leave a remainder of c when divided by b so this gives us a time complexity of order of n dot n raised to 1 by 3 which should pass the corresponding time limit for the problem and hence this is our solution um i actually wanted to show you the code for this problem but apparently i cannot i can just explain this a little more detailed way so let's take a example and see how this is happen So let's say five. Okay, that is the biggest number that we have here. So let's say five. So n is equal to five. So now what we can do is we use one, two, three, four, five. These are the values of b possible. Now b equal to one, not possible. B equal to two. The values of c possible are. One, two, one, three, one, two, four, one, five. B equal to C. B equal to C. B equal to C. B equal to C. Now, for B equal to two, C equal to one, the corresponding values of A possible are one and three and five. One, three and five. The corresponding values are one and four, one and five, and one. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we missed something. For the genus, for A mod B should be equal to one. So one, two, three, five. A mod B should be equal to three. So one, two, and four. A mod B should be equal to. Okay, here there is two also. So Comma, first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the nine values. So as you can see, this approach works, and we did it in order of n dot v ten. You must be wondering why did we do it in root n and not n raised to one by three? This is because though the number of divisors would be of the order of n raised to one by three. We would need to iterate on all the root n numbers to get the divisors. So it is a standard code to get the all the divisors of a number. You basically start with one and go to square root of n. Try dividing the number by this. I belong to this. Try dividing this by this and try dividing n by i. And if it is divisible, you put n by i. And I both inside the these both are the divisors. Except if I is equal to square root of n, then in that case you don't need to put n by I. You can just put I because n by I will be equal to I in that case. So I hope. If you understood this, um, you liked the video. So I hope it got recorded. Yeah, it got. So that's all, folks, for this video. The time limit is 0.5 seconds, and it is sufficient in an question to suffice to pass with the given things. If you have any doubts, any requests, or want the code, want to see anything. Just drop me a mail. It is in the about section, and don't forget to subscribe and share the channel. Bye bye. Let's wait for just two seconds. Complete the ten minutes, and.